So I'm here at Disneyland to kind of have a family day, and this place is crazy. But what I want to talk about is the history of nuclear power here at Disneyland. Back in 1957, Walt Disney actually made a short film called Our Friend the Atom, and it was to showcase what nuclear power could be in the future. And I think his plan was to actually have some type of exhibit here at the park. In fact, we considered it so important that we embarked on several atomic projects. For one, we made plans to build an exhibit at Disneyland that will show you atomic energy in action. Unfortunately, he didn't live long enough to implement that dream. Walt Disney also made a companion book to go with this film. It has a really cool 50s aesthetic to it. It has illustrations in it that children and adults could follow and learn more about nuclear science and power. So anyway, I've been running my Radicode 103 to kind of track the radiation around Disneyland, but there's no, been nothing surprising, no bursts of radiation or anything like that. I was kind of hoping maybe I would find someone that had maybe like a nuclear medicine procedure like with Technetium 99M or something like that, but I haven't seen anything like that yet. So, so far, Disneyland isn't radioactive. There's a couple of little areas that are a little higher than normal, but nothing to be concerned about. First time in Disneyland, seven or eight. Yes, mom, keep telling the story. Oh. Yeah, that, was, that was a very long time ago. Very long time ago. So this is a satellite view of the Disneyland theme park. All of the colored trails are radiation events I tracked when I eradicated 103, connected to the app. I noticed that towards the end of Toontown, I was getting a higher than normal radiation level. It seemed that the radiation was coming from this rest area at the end of Toontown. The radiation level here is about three times what the background for the park was. And I walked around trying to find the source of this radiation, but I couldn't. I surmised that it's probably in the building material that was used in this section of Toontown. And it appears that the contamination is from radium-226. Radium-226 is a radioactive element that was used to make glow-in-the-dark paint for watches and aircraft gauges. This level of radiation is so low, it will never have any type of ill effect on anyone or anything at the park. It's just interesting that it's there. California Adventure also had an increased level of radiation throughout the entire park. And this also might have something to do with the building materials that they selected. Again, nothing dangerous, nothing harmful. I really like California Adventure, especially this area. It reminds me of old Pasadena. The reproductions of this tile work are great, but if they were originals, they would all be radioactive because of the uranium that was used in the glazes for the original tiles that can still be found in Southern California today. Cars Land is one of my favorite places to visit in California Adventure. It really captures the feel of the southwest desert scene where Route 66 passes through. It's amazing. She's an... <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow over here. She's so oh. A lost set of ears. The second time today. This video is a little bit shorter than normal, but it was something I wanted to share with everyone, because I'm sure somebody will find it interesting. At least that's my hope. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Welcome aboard the Disneyland Railroad. We're embarking on a grand circle tour of the Magic Kingdom. We'll be stopping at New Orleans Square, Mickey's Toontown, and Tomorrowland.
We'll also visit the Grand Canyon and make a trip back in time to the primeval world.